Before it was a distillery, it was a settlement. And before it was a settlement, it was a frontier wilderness, a land lush with sprawling meadows, virgin forests of white oak, ash, and wild cherry trees, and formidable palisades carved by ancient rivers. Remote and untouched, it was a land whose stillness was a constant song of tranquility. It was the buffalo, however, that ultimately broke the silence of this wilderness. Not only with the thunder of its massive herds, but with the thousands of miles of trails it trampled. Trails that led pioneers and settlers alike westward. One such trail led to the rugged banks of what is now called the Kentucky River. It was here, just a short distance from Kentucky's state capital of today, that millions of buffalo found passage across the river in their move toward the Great Plains. And it was here that they left a rough, wide clearing that would become a gateway to a new frontier, to a new settlement, and ultimately, to the home of the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Commemorating the site of this great crossing, the Buffalo Trace Distillery embraces the heritage created by brave pioneers, hopeful settlers, and Kentucky's native sons who left their marks as legends, heroes, and leaders. Their legacies still echo through the century-old warehouses, and their spirits still stir the winds that sweep along the river, alternately cooling and warming the ruby-hued treasures sleeping in handmade oak barrels. Today, Buffalo Trace quietly produces finely crafted bourbon. Yet more than 200 years ago on this very site, legends such as Daniel Boone and George Rogers Clark braved frontier dangers to find new lands and new adventures. In 1775, brothers Hancock and Willis Lee established the settlement of Leestown with a small company of men. Leestown was the Commonwealth's first settlement north of the Kentucky River, and the Lees group struggled to survive in a wilderness that was as rugged as their souls. In 1776, Indian raids coupled with the advent of the American Revolution nearly extinguished the settlement forever. But the Buffalo Trace continued to bring more pioneers westward. By 1789, the ancient Buffalo Crossing was bustling with activity as Leestown became a key stop along the Buffalo Trace and the Kentucky River. A brisk traffic in distilled spirits had begun, and Leestown's warehouses stored many a barrel of Kentucky whiskey. Soon, a distillery was built on the site, thus marking the beginning of what would become Buffalo Trace's long history as a pioneering and innovative leader in the bourbon industry. The first modern distillery was built here in 1857. It was the first U.S. distillery to incorporate the use of steam power, a major advance in producing high-quality whiskey. The distillery later was purchased and further modernized by E.H. Taylor, Jr., known as one of Kentucky's original bourbon aristocrats. Taylor was an industry leader who greatly advanced the quality of Kentucky's bourbon and safeguarded the bourbon label from bogus producers. By 1886, the distillery had introduced the nation's first climate-controlled warehousing for aging whiskey and was known around the world for producing America's finest spirits. The distillery remained a top producer well into the 1900s, but was threatened when prohibition was enacted in 1920. Fortunately, it was one of the four distilleries in the United States to continue distillation during Prohibition. With a government permit, the distillery was allowed to produce limited bottlings of whiskey for medicinal purposes, helping to keep its doors open until repeal in 1933. Despite the setbacks of Prohibition and the Great Flood of 1937, the distillery rebounded and flourished under the guidance of Colonel Albert Blanton, Blanton was a bourbon aristocrat in the mold of E.H. Taylor and the great whiskey men of the 1800s. He took pride in the distillery as well as its products. In 1934, he designed and built the stately Stony Point Mansion, 
which overlooks the distillery grounds. And today, visitors and distillery employees alike enjoy the beauty of the distillery clubhouse, constructed with logs from century-old cabins, and an open courtyard, and gardens designed by Blanton. Blanton, born and raised on a farm adjacent to the distillery, was a bourbon traditionalist at heart. For himself and a few select friends, he occasionally produced and bottled a single barrel bourbon, much the same way as Kentucky's earliest bourbon pioneers. In 1984, in honor of the Colonel and his love for tradition, the distillery made history with the world's first single barrel bourbon to be marketed commercially. It's been more than two centuries since those first heroic pioneers struggled to survive in the fledgling settlement of Leestown. At Buffalo Trace Distillery, we endeavor to honor the great sacrifices of the brave souls that sought to open new worlds. We seek to capture their drive, their spirit, and their determination in the authentic, high-quality whiskeys produced at Buffalo Trace. In the last 10 years alone, our bourbons have earned more than 40 top distinctions in national and international competitions, and our labels are called for in countries around the world. This legacy lives on in our namesake bourbon, Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Expertly crafted in the time-honored method unique to bourbon whiskeys, Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey begins with Kentucky and Indiana corn, selected rye, and barley malt. The corn is added to mashing water, which has been heated to its boiling point. As the mixture cooks, rye is added. After the mixture cools, the malted barley is added, and now the mixture becomes a sweet mash. When the mash temperature reaches 64 degrees Fahrenheit, yeast with a small amount of a previously fermented mash or sour mash are added. The sugary enzymes of the malted barley feed the yeast to produce alcohol and carbon dioxide. The uniquely rich nutrients of the pure Kentucky limestone water used in this process also enrich the yeast. Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey undergoes a natural fermentation that lasts three to five days. The fermented mixture, or beer, complete with solids, goes into the first still which creates an alcohol-rich vapor. The vapor is recondensed and passed through a doubler to create a crystal clear liquid. For Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, the proof is ultimately reduced to 125 proof. After the desired proof is achieved, the whiskey is stored in specially selected virgin white oak barrels, which have been charred from the inside. Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey is then aged in century-old brick warehouses, which allow the alternating cooling and warming of Kentucky's four seasons to mature the bourbon by nature's timetable. The very best bourbon comes from the middle floors of Buffalo Trace's warehouses, here, the barrels experience the greatest temperature changes throughout each year, the key to reaching full maturity and producing a balanced whiskey. Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey is made from the best of these prized barrels. The result is one of the world's best crafted bourbons. Rich, mature, and complex, Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon offers subtle notes of vanilla, mint, toffee, and light molasses complemented by undertones of tea berry, anise, and dark candied fruit. Its corn sweetness is balanced by the dryness of oak that comes with its expertly timed barrel aging. Today, the bold heritage of the mighty buffalo and the individuality and pioneering spirit of those early Americans are found in Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Its smooth, confident taste invites discovery with each sip. The legends, the heroes, the leaders. Their spirits are still here at Buffalo Trace Distillery. At Buffalo Trace, you'll find tribute to the freedom and independence they sought, to the power and beauty of a wilderness past, and to the dauntless buffalo whose ancient trails open new worlds for us all.